Alright, Studio 41 Army, welcome to what will probably be the, one of the only unboxing videos you will ever see ever on this channel because I honestly hate doing them. Uh, this is an unboxing of the ThinkGeek Portable Super NES NES uh, player, whatever you want to call it. Yep, the Retro Bit Duo. This bad boy ran, ran me around a hundred bucks, but the way I always see it, it runs both SNES and NES games, so, you know, why not? We also can see that we can make our retro thing, RDP, we're calling it now apparently, compatible with Super or Genesis games, but we have to buy a separate adapter, and while Genesis is the first console I own, I barely play anything besides Sonic games, so screw it, let's open this bad boy with one hand. And there she is. We have a manual. Manual. We have our NES. Sorry. My NES adapter. We have power adapter. We have this thing. <laughs> uh, I think this is for uh, actually using a controller because it can hook up to HDTVs. Uh, let's see. We have AV cables. And then here it is. I'm trying to get it in focus, sorry. But <laughs> there we go. The Retrogen itself. There it is, and we see on the back it's SNES compatible right away, and it seems to fit pretty well in my hands. I obviously am only doing one hand right now, but I thought I was hoping it was a little bit bigger. But I thought in my uh, wishing that was a bit bigger. It actually, isn't too. It's actually pretty pretty good size. I was hoping closer to the gamepad for the Wii U but this is pretty pretty solid alright so after charging this bad boy all the way up we have our good friend Mr. Breath of Fire in the console <clears throat> in the slot so let's fire this bad boy up And there we go. We got Squaresoft, Capcom, and we got fired up here. And Ryu calling down the thunder. All right, there we go. But we can't leave that one now, can we? And here we have Super Mario All Stars, a console that has get or a game that has given me some trouble uh, with starting up. So I figured we'd test this thing out in the RDP to see what it can do. And it is also autographed by Billy Mitchell, Ricky Knuckles, and Walter Day. If you don't know who they are, you probably think I'm insane. If you do know who they are, then haha, -ha, I have a cartridge autographed by them. All right, but let's see how uh, or the RDP can handle a cartridge that has been giving me some trouble in terms of starting up. Ah, oh, look at that. Fire it up right away. Usually I can never get that thing to go on the first try, so that's pretty impressive. Alright, but let's try out some NES games now. Alright, and behold now as we have the Leaning Tower of Game. <laughs> Good lord. That got a bit bigger. <laughs> Alright, but let's fire this up. <laughs>
Oh, there we go. Fire it up like a charm. Let's try a different game now. Alright, let's try out Mega Man 6 on this bad boy now. There we go. First try. Oh, there you have it. The RDP. Yeah, that's what it's called, right? <laughs> the RDP retro game handheld game console. Play all your. Well, I saw there's some NES games don't work, so maybe not all NES games, but. Most NES games and all Super NES games, handheld. Just like that. Alright, prepare for probably a ne one more other unboxing video ever on this channel. That'll probably be the Gwent cards that I get for Witcher 3. So, thanks for watching.